Hello and happy Wednesday, everyone. It is time to talk about our verse for this week. Um, I'm so excited to talk about this. Like I um, have said earlier, this is one of my favorite verses. It's become one of my life verses over the past couple of years because God has really opened it up and taught me a lot of things through this verse. So I want to take a little bit of time today to share with you some of those things that I've pulled from it, that I've been able to apply to my life, and I hope that you will apply to yours as we continue to build this healthy life on a firm foundation of faith. The key is a firm foundation. We want to have that strong foundation so that we are living a healthy life that is sustainable, that is just something we do, and that we know first and foremost where our strength comes from and um, you know how we get the strength and the courage to live this out on a daily basis. So this is week three. Um, we're not quite, we're kind of almost halfway through our six weeks of building this healthy life on a foundation of faith. You can go back um, last Wednesday to the video where I talked about the verse for last week, which is, was 1 Corinthians 10.31. And then you can go oh, the week before that. On, on that Wednesday, I talked about our first verse of this study, which was Romans 12, 1. Um, so they both, you know, again, we're building on this truth of God's word that we are learning and hopefully believing and applying to our lives so we can live this um, fit life on a foundation of faith. So let's talk about today, Hebrews 12, 1. The verse, um, like I said, um, Monday when I posted the memory verse, you know, we're trying to memorize this. We want these verses to be, you know, kind of, we want to have them ready that we don't have to go look something up, but we want to have them ready in our minds so that if Satan is attacking in some way, we can use God's word to get rid of him. And so I hope that you are memorizing them. Um, let me know. Um, raise your hand. You click like if you are working on memorizing this verse so that I know that you're with me here and that you are um, on track and just committing this stuff to your healthy life. But I want to read the full verse to you because it is a little bit longer um, and I don't want to mess it up when I try to do it all from, from memory. And like I said, um, I have um, a shortened version pinned to the top of this group so that you can look at it and and work on it all week and memorize it but the full version of hebrews 12 1 out of the new international version is therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us and so there's a couple things I want to talk about in regards to this verse. And, you know, I first looked at this verse just because it's, you know, run, running. And you know that I love to run. And so um, when there's a verse that has that in it, in Scripture, I want to look at it to see how I can apply it to my life. And so the, the first key that I feel like... Um, is really or the first phrase that I feel like is key for us is throw off everything that in let's let me everything that hinders us and the sin that easily entangles us we have to first do this work of getting rid of the things that are hindering us that are holding us back is it sin like comparison or gluttony um, you know or are those things that are just um, you know, we're kind of in the middle of, of that sin. You know, it's not fun to admit our own pride or, you know, maybe a lack of, of self-control, uh, you know, just saying gluttony. You know, I mean, even as, as, as near, as recent as, you know, the last week or two, you know, there were days where I just, you know, ate junk. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm like, God, you know, this was wrong. I mean, you know... It, again, I'll say it, you know, it's okay to, you know, have dessert, have chocolate, whatever, you know, eat a hamburger and french fries, but to just eat it when you don't even know that you want it, it's not necessary, um, you know, it's just giving, giving into gluttony, you know, it's, it is, it's not right, you know, whether, um, you know, there's lots of things and, you know, we kind of, or I know that I'll think of, 
you know, things like, um, you know, going out, I mean, you know, murdering somebody or whatever, you know, that's, you know, that's, and well, you know, it, it giving into these kinds of things are, are sinful just as well. Or, you know, again, the, the mind, you know, this negative talk, whatever it is, you and I, we know it. When we get quiet and we do these evaluations of ourselves or we look at ourselves, we know what sin is you know is in us we know where we are struggling we've got to throw those things off it's time to throw that off so the first part of this verse and we have to take time is throw off throw off the things that are hindering us Let, let's talk about this in in terms of racing you know actually running a race um you know or if you you like to swim going in and to swim you're not going to jump into a pool fully clothed you're going to put on a bathing suit because what's going to happen if you, you jump into a pool, pool fully clothed? You know, that stuff's going to weigh you down. You're not going to be able to move. You're not going to be able to, you know, to um, to swim, you know, if you're, you know, jumping in to, to grab something or whatever. I don't swim. Can you tell? I'm not a swimmer. So let's talk about running. <laughs> you know, um, if you're out running, um, you know, and it's, 80 degrees, you know, I'm not going to wear sweatshirt and sweatpants to go out and run. That is going to hold me back. That's going to keep me from being able to run the race that's set before me. So the first thing that we have to do and look at our lives and look at our fit and healthy lives is throw off the sin, throw off the things that are hindering. Hey, Lisa, thanks for jumping on. We're talking about Hebrews 12.1, our verse for this week. Um, and so, like I said, that first part of that is that we throw off the sin, throw off the things that entangle us and hold us back. And then it says, run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Now, let's look at that. Run with perseverance. So we want to, you know, we're going to go. When you enter a race, for the most part, I mean, yes, there have been times when, um, you know, if something happens in a race, people don't finish it. But for the most part, people finish the race that they they get in no matter what comes up along the way it gets hard it you know you get tired you may have to take a walk break and slow down we still get in we persevere we get at the start line and we go to the finish line but it says run the race marked out for you I've got to run the race that's marked out for me I say a lot keep your eyes on your own paper that's what I'm talking about here. Stay in your lane. Some people will, will say stay in your lane. Think of a track, you know, and in a, in a race, um, you know, running around a track, um, you know, especially like if you're doing hurdles, say, or whatever, you got to stay in your lane. You got to you got to stay in your lane and not jump over to somebody else's. You can get disqualified if you do that. So I'm talking about, let, let's again go back to running a race. When I run... And we gather, Lisa, you've been in um, lots of races as well. Everybody's in that race. We're all in this together, just like this group. We're all in this together, but people are going at different paces. They are, they are wearing, they're not all wearing the same shoes, right? They're not all wearing the same clothes. They're not all going at the same pace. Um, you know, even a longer races, um, you know, I know from running half marathons and full marathons, a lot of times people will take energy gels, for instance, or there's water and there's Gatorade. They, you know, not everybody chooses water at the same stop or Gatorade at the same stop or not, not everybody uses the same energy gels. The thing is, we're in this together. You know, this is where it comes, you know, community over competition, um, you know, not, not in a competition with one another, but we're in it together, but yet we've got to run the race marked out for us. I have to run at the pace that is, that is right for me. I have to fuel, you know, in the, the way that's right for me. If I would go show up at, you know, whether it's a 5k or whether it's a marathon and, you know, try to run the race of somebody that's next to me, that's maybe 10 years younger, that has a different, you know, body style, you know, that has been training differently. Um, you know, I mean, I could, I could show up at the mini marathon and I could line up 
with the Kenyans at the front. But if I tried to run their race, I mean, I couldn't even stay with them for a few strides. And then how frustrated would I get? And then what? What I would probably give up, right? Because I'm like, there's no way. I can't do it. I can't go with that race. You know, look at them. I mean, they train differently than me. Their body is different than me. So anyway, that is what this verse is talking about. When we're talking about healthy living, we are looking at the race that's marked out for me. You're looking at the race marked out for you. We're in this together. We're here. We're supporting, encouraging, loving on each other, holding each other accountable. But we have to run the race marked out for us. And so that means, you know, doing the things that are right for our bodies, making the choices that are right for us. You know, I may, you know, I, I say it a lot. Of course, there's no secret. I like chocolate and I like peanut butter. Um, but, you know, somebody else you know, that they may not like those things, you know, so that's not going to fit into their, they're not going to make, um, you know, make concessions or, or make a way for their, you know, daily food intake to allow those things to be there. Um, you know, the other thing is I've talked about trail mix and how I struggle with that. And I will, you know, I can't, you know, stop necessarily at a, you know, a small serving, but somebody else, you know, that may be a great snack for them. So, you know, so they may be okay to have trail mix as part of their daily intake. Hey, Diane, thanks for joining in. Um, we're talking about this Hebrews 12, 1 today and uh, running our race and not somebody else's race. So, um, so that's how we get in this race together. That's how we run this and we can be in groups together. We can be in accountability with one another, but at the same time, we have to focus on what is right for our bodies, what is right for our age and stage of life. Um, so this is, you know, going back to Hebrews 12, 1, that says, again, I'll read it one more time. Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. So don't miss that first point. Don't miss the importance of throwing off what is, is holding you back right now. We've got to deal with that, whether it's things that we're thinking, whether it's a, um, a diet or a quick fix that we've tried, or we're trying to incorporate something in our lives that just, it's not going to work. We got to throw that off. And then we can run with perseverance the race marked out for us. And what we've got to do is commit to running that race, not her race, not the race even that I entered maybe a month ago or a year ago, but the race I'm in right now, I've got to run that at the pace, you know, that is right for me. Keeping my eyes on my own paper, staying in my lane. And you know, I, um, feel so strongly about this this verse and the importance of running our race running the one that's right for you me running the one that's right for me that I got this um, my momentum jewelry I got this made specifically and it says hashtag run my race and it says Hebrews 12 1 and I also have a um, I don't have it on now obviously um, a, but a headband it's a bondy band that I had made and it says hashtag run my race um, and if you want to use that hashtag, you can use that hashtag because it's a reminder that we are, we're in this life together. Like I said, have you ever shown up at a race and you're the only one? Uh, probably not. Um, I've done lots, lots and lots. Um, so, and I've never showed up um, and been the only one in a race. So we all are in this race together. We're all on this journey of living a healthy life. Um, and for the most part, you know, yeah, again, we talk about, you know, I'll say those, say the Kenyans in the, in the front of the pack at, say, the mini marathon, they're competing with one another. Though somebody wants to go home with, with the prize and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But the rest of us, you know, we're not really in a competition with one another. We are just trying to do our very best, the, the best that we can be and, and, you know, go at the, the pace that is best for us. Maybe we're looking to set a PR, a personal record for ourselves for that day, but it's, it's not about the competition about the people around us. It's just, we want to do the best that we can 
for ourselves, you know, in, in that race that, that we're in. And so that's what I would encourage you and how I would encourage you to take a look at this verse and say, okay, God, show me, first of all, what am I carrying around that I don't need to carry around? You know, um, again, when we, when we get into a race or like I said earlier about, you know, jumping into a swimming pool, you know, generally you, you, for the swimming pool, you get down to your bathing suit. You don't go in there fully clothed. You know, on a race, even when it's a little bit chilly out, um, we usually want to have the minimum of, you know, clothes that we can run it warmly and comfortably, but, you know, not where we're going to get, he you know, hot and bogged down with all of that. So we got to, you know, in our lives, we've got to get, get a rid of distractions. And that may even mean cleaning up our social media feed. You know, if there are things in your Facebook or on your Instagram and you see them and you start comparing yourself or, you know, you feel like you've got to compete with somebody, if it's bringing up things that's making you question what you're doing or your worth, we got to unfollow those things. You know, we have to make our, our, you know, social media where it's only, you know, encouraging us to do and run the race marked out for us. So we throw those things off and then we focus on um, the race that God has called us to run and just doing that at the best that we can. Um, you know, and that may mean, like I said, you know, a long race. I've been in those long ones, you know, half marathons, full marathons. You know, sometimes it means I take a walk break, um, you know, and sometimes I can speed up. Sometimes I slow down. And that's what we do. This, this healthy living thing, this journey, we're going to be on it forever you know hopefully you know we are we are going to be on it we're you're always going to be you know working towards that that prize that goal which is just you know that when Jesus sees us he says well done well done with everything that you did with that body that I entrusted to you you did a good job of taking care of it so that you can go out and do the things that I called you to do and and like I posted earlier this week over the weekend God did not call me to lose my life's purpose is not losing weight not losing five pounds my life's purpose is just to be healthy so that I can take care of my family take care of my kids and one day I'll maybe probably have grandchildren you know do all those kinds of things and you know be about the business that he has called me to be so I just encourage you today to take some time to think about your race and running your race the race marked out for you um, no, sorry, you know, we still have that landline, so they, telemarketers still call every now and then. Um, but anyway, um, that is it. If you have questions about Hebrews 12.1, if you're struggling with, you know, staying in your lane, um, you know, let's talk about that. What are your struggles? How can I help? Um, but for the most part, or, or what this verse is telling us, is to throw off the distractions, get rid of those distractions, and keep our eyes on Jesus and run the race that's marked out for you. I'll run the race marked out for me, but we're still going to run together and we're still going to keep cheering each other on. That's the beautiful thing about it is that we can cheer each other on. And if somebody comes and passes me by, I can say, great job. You know, or if I come up and, you know, maybe we run together for a while. Um, you know, we're just in this to, to encourage each other, to hold each other accountable and just say, hey, you know, just keep doing your best. Whatever that is, just keep doing your best. Keep learning, you know, and growing and keep moving forward. Whether it's at a walk right now, whether it's at a run, whatever it is, just keep moving forward. So I'm going to go run my race. I hope you are running your race. If you have any more questions on this verse, um, you know, post them below. How are you doing? Are you memorizing? How are you doing in this first three weeks? Um, questions or comments on that, leave them below or message me. And um, Friday, look for a post on Friday um, for our discussion questions, and we'll talk more about this um, running our race and how we can, um, you know, run that together, but still run and focus on Jesus on the race he has marked out for each of us individually. So go honor that today. Honor the wonderful creation that he has made you to be. And um, just stay in your lane and keep your eyes on Jesus. And thanks for being here, everybody. I will, um, of course, we'll be in the Facebook group. And um, 
I'll see you next week on Wednesday to talk about our next verse. So until then, have a great day, and I'll see you soon.